Hey, so one of you sent me a package of uh, flanchettes. And if you don't know, this is a flanchette. It looks like a little teeny tiny arrow. So I figured this is a perfect opportunity to start a new video series here on TikTok. I think I'm gonna call it, Will It Knife? What are y'all doing in my shop? Get out of here! <sighs> so yeah, flanchettes. Will it knife? I guess we'll, uh, we'll, we'll f***ing find out. All right, so before we get to going on this, we gotta talk science for a second, specifically metallurgy. So most steel, when it's manufactured, has this gray coating. This is called mill scale. And what that is is a form of iron oxidation that forms when you hot roll steel. This would not want to weld. Think about when you TIG weld, when you MIG weld, you have to remove all the outside coating, get it nice and shiny before you start laying a bead. So before we get going on uh, building our canister, this has to be removed. So to do that, we must use science. All right, we got our googly eyes here. We're gonna put these on. And uh, for safety purposes for TikTok, I'm not gonna tell you how to mix up this compound. So I call this little concoction here, go-go juice. This is not drinking juice. So as you can see here, all of that mill scale is just being eaten away by our go-go juice. The forbidden orange juice. Uh, it's science. Who's science? Your science? The imperial science? Yep, mill scale is gone. So now we got these cleaned up, no forge scale, and they're drying off. All right, so now that they've dried, you can see they've started to kind of form a little bit of a, a rust layer. And that's okay, because rust is just iron. So now we can start building our canister, which I have lined with whiteout. And we will be using 1084 powdered steel. So, okay, whatever. So we'll just grab a pinch, dump them in. Add a scoop. Grab a pinch. And as you go along, you want to tap that canister to get that powder shipped down in between those little planchettes. Be sure to drink your Ovaltine. All right. So now we'll just uh, weld a cap on this bad boy. Well, it's all welded up. Now we're going to shove it in the forge. We're going to let it soak in the fire for like 20 minutes, rotating it every five minutes or so. Baby, I'm on fire. Once it's the temperature, we're going to go to Pound Town with the old uh, Big Blue there. So, yeah. Well, my phone died while I was hammering that out. But we got it all forged down and now we're just cutting off the ends. Well, as we can see here, uh, the billet welded up really nicely. I can see a nice seam. It should be taking that canister off, should be no problem at all. All right, well, after we hit it with two uggas and a dugga, we got the, uh, the canister off and now we've got our billet right here. No miles still on this bad boy. All right, so we welded on a little stick, a little work handle for our billet here. As you can see, it's nice and welded up from the canister. And it's going back into the forest to make a knife. Okay, so we forged out our tang, this is it here, and uh, we're gonna cut off this fork handle. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it at an angle, and the reason for that is when I forge in my bevels, it's gonna bring that back up. And now it's time to forge it So here we are. We come up with a, a nice little clip point bow here made of that flanchette canister Damascus. Uh, thanks for watching. And the next video will be grinding, profile grinding, and doing the bevels and heat treating this bad boy. So stay tuned.